John Jones beat Cyril Gaon in the first round of their heavyweight championship bout. The GOAT debate is officially over. I mean, it's not like it wasn't obvious that John Jones is the best fighter of all time, but because of his recent performances and his long absence, the fans were starting to throw a couple of other names into the mix. The fact is, John Jones is the most complete fighter we ever saw, and if we take a look at his skill set, his opponents, his dominance, the other fighters don't come close. And this fight just proved it. The only real damage Gon did to Bones was the kick to the groin area, and yet John just waited 30 seconds before he continued with the fight. And it's not like Gon isn't a great fighter. He made other heavyweights look slow and sluggish with his never-seen style in that particular weight division. John didn't care about his fancy footwork, quick hands, and big muscles. He knew Gon's weaknesses and exploited it as soon as he got the chance. Right now, the only argument left that Jones isn't the best are his doping charges, but as a wise man once said, Everybody's on steroids. Even the second goat confirmed it. But yes, of course. I had more juice than Tropicana, and he pushed me around like a, like a Mack truck versus... Maybe there will be some people who are going to complain about his antics outside the octagon, but the greatest fighter should be just that, the greatest fighter, not the greatest human. He is a borderline sociopath, but honestly, to reach this stage of excellence in this sport, you have to be a little bit crazy. He took three years off, changed weight classes, and beat a top contender without breaking a sweat. If that doesn't solidify his ranking on your GOAT list, I don't know what will. This makes us wonder, will there ever be another John Jones? Will there be a fighter who is so dominant, who wins fights without even training properly, who is born to be a champion? At this point, I would say no. The closest fighter we have right now who could compete with John based on their full skill set and freakish athleticism is Alexander Volkanovsky. But he's already 34 years old and time is definitely not on his side. He would still have to accomplish wonders in a short amount of time, which seems unlikely. Lucky for us, the sport is becoming more and more popular, which leads to a big number of kids wanting to train martial arts. And considering that humans are evolving like crazy, we are going to witness a whole bunch of incredible athletes with great desires to become the best. There will be fewer fighters focusing on one particular martial art, but they will give their attention equally to every important aspect of the game. However, this will just make things more competitive, and there will be less room to exploit your opponent's weaknesses. So, is John Jones going to stay the greatest forever? Probably not, but I would be surprised if we actually witnessed the change on the throne in our lifetimes. Last thing.